Are you worried or wondering how you can keep your home nice and clean and well organized? I've got you today. I'm going to show you how to always keep your home nice and clean and organized. I'm going to show you five tips that are going to help you with keeping your home organized. Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. We are the Mask Educator and we organize, learn and grow. Let's dive in. Number one, have a cleaning plan. I know we when you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Because we know we have all very busy lives. You can't always clean everywhere every single day. So it's really important to have a plan and plan when you're going to clean each place in your house. So this is my own plan. Um, if you want the same cards, they're usually from Amazon as well. You can find them. And all I've done, it has a yes or no. So in the beginning of the demand, I'll put all of them to no. And because what I've done is divided the house when I'm going to clean when. So week one, I'll clean the shutters and the windows uh, or any blinds. The second week of the month, I will clean any the doors and um, the doors or the doors in the house. And then week number three, I will clean the scatting boards. And week number four, I will clean the oven. So those are things that I do once in a month. So the blinds, the doors, the scatting, and the oven, deep cleaning the oven, I will do those things once every month. And then I have a plan as well for what I normally do during once a week. So normally every Tuesday is when we do our bedding. So every Tuesday, everyone knows in the family that they have to remove all their beddings and then we chuck them in the washing machine and beddings are done. And then every Fridays is when I deal with all the floor mats. So the dining mats, the kitchen mats, the toilet mats. On Fridays is when I know I clean all the mats. And then on Saturdays is when we normally deep clean the bathrooms and the toilets. So on Saturday, yes, every single day you do your normal cleaning. But on Saturdays, just we make sure that all the bathrooms are deep clean. And then Friday night, we deep clean the kitchen. Uh, normally, I normally do the cooking on Fridays nowadays. So it's just became easier since I have to clean anyway after cooking. So we just do uh, the meal prep. And then after cooking, we just do the deep clean of the kitchen and it's nice and clean for the week. And then on the Fridays as well, I just mentioned, is when I do the weekly dinner prep. So this makes your life easy by knowing when to do what is easy. For you to make sure that you're maintaining your whole plan so having a plan is number one the second tip on how to make sure it's nice and organized and clean is to make sure you do your bed every day i know this is very easily said and it's an easy thing to do but remember when you wake up the first thing just do your bed because always when a bed is done no matter how maybe unclean your room is the bed has that illusion that the room is actually clean so by doing your bed is the easiest job you just wake up just do it immediately before you do start anything else and then that job is done tip number three is to make sure you clean both your toilet and also the sink every single day toilets are one of those things that are always dirty and you just want to make sure that you put bleach on it every single day and wash it the same one with the sink people use the sink for maybe uh, making sure they're brushing their teeth rinsing off all the toothpaste from it will help your house get clean every single day i know it does take time but it really won't take even more than two minutes by just rinsing it off and pouring bleach in the toilet that's tip number three number four is having laundry baskets if it's if there's one thing that makes the house look dirty is when you have clothes everywhere so just have a basket where people put their dirty clothes and have if people like do not like organizing another way to make sure it's clean just have another basket people put clean clothes on so instead of people chucking things on the floor especially the clothes they have somewhere to put them baskets are versatile as well you can use them as well for toys if there's so many toys and you have kids use the baskets to keep your home clean when they just chuck them in it's so easy for them to always make sure that it's clean so baskets are very versatile and you can use them for different things but mainly is to make sure there are no things on the floor because when they're litter on the floor or toys or things like that have not been used necessary then it makes your home look disorganized 
the fifth and last thing is to make sure you put away your washing i know this is one of the things that uh, all drugs has done and i have to admit even myself it's really hard to keep up with putting away the washing but making sure you put away your stuff after cleaning them it helps your home look clean so there is different organizers that can help you with that making sure everything has a home make sure you're decluttering your clothes as you go by things that you do not use there's no need of keeping them blessing them, uh, blessing them with a new home is so important because that's make sure that your home is always organized so ensure you're putting your clothes away ensure you are decluttering them and ensure they have a home you have a home for everything that you have anything that you haven't used for some time bless it to other people and that will help them as well I hope all these five tips that we have, they will help you get back to your organizing and cleaning and it will help encourage you that you can be able to do it. Until next time, keep organizing.